Congo, where a local entrepreneur is breeding palm blooms to provide alternative for a source of protein for orphanages and other vulnerable groups. Initiated by an agricultural engineer, the worms harvested from the bark of palm trees have been used to feed children and also protect the environment. The unique creatures are also widely embraced among the public. Here is more of that in this report. A unique breeding place for unique creatures. This insect rearing room in Kinshasa is home to hundreds of palm worms on Pose, as they are known in the Democratic Republic of Congo. These worms are at the larva stage of the snout beetle. They are harvested from the bark of palm trees, causing a lot of deforestation. But this agricultural engineer decided to do something about it. What we are doing is to feed children to protect the environment by the cut of palm tree. You know, when you see how artisanal people are farming posse, they need to cut trees, ferment it, and produce posse. Francoise Lucadi is also the director of an NGO in Kinshasa known as Farms for Orphans. Her breeding facility supplies palm worms to children at orphanages. This food is rich in proteins, that's why it's very good for children, especially those affected by malnutrition. When they eat it, their health gets restored very fast. That's why they are expensive. A kilo of the worms goes for about $30 in Kinshasa. Dampose is a popular dish in the DRC for its high nutritional value. The worms are usually fried, roasted or grilled. The thought of eating them can be quite nauseating for a first timer. Tastes a bit like fish and mushrooms. Some people eat them raw to get all the vitamins and proteins. It is similar to other insects that we eat like crickets or makelele. It's really appetizing. I eat a lot of cornmeal with just a few of them for the worms. The DRC has the second largest rainforest in the world after the Amazon, but the trees are being cut down for commercial agriculture, charcoal and palm oil. Francois's innovative way of breeding the worms is preventing deforestation and feeding children with this Congolese delicacy at the same time. The demand is very, very high. I have a lot of order I cannot satisfy because of the quantity. You know, we are a, a social um, NGO. What we are doing is first for, um, for children, for orphans, uh, for vulnerable people. The worms are regarded as an environmentally friendly alternative to livestock by enthusiasts because they do not require large pieces of land to rear them. And that has stirred Francoise and her team to keep breeding palm worms in this country that's among the leading insect-eating nations in the world.